Lamar tweeted, it's not about my new center. Stop this BS key. He's like having an Aaron Rodgers reaction to this, it seems to me. You know, he it, it, as he should, though, Max, because he's the quarterback of the team. You're giving away what he needs most, which is his weapon in Hollywood Brown. And you didn't replace it with anything. And I know Rashad Bateman is there that they drafted out of Minnesota a year ago, but he's been in and out of the lineup. So you're like, what am, are you guys doing? Now, day two of the draft and day three of the draft, there's plenty of wide receivers that they could go and select that, quite frankly, might be better than Hollywood Brown in their career. You just don't know, but it's a shock to your system when your running mate is no longer there. Well, see, Keith, this is why it reminds me of Aaron Rodgers, to a degree. Where is the communication? And this, this proves a bigger issue that's happening in Baltimore. We always wonder why Lamar Jackson has not signed his extension with the team. When I see that reaction on social media, that lends me to think that the organization is not properly communicating to their franchise quarterback about what their moves are in place. And that's a major problem, right? And look, when they traded their pick with Buffalo uh, to then get Tyler Linderbaum, fine. Like, it, Lamar Jackson wasn't going after Linderbaum. Like, he's happy about having Linderbaum. It was the fact about it not being communicated properly about their moves with Hollywood Brown. Like, that leaves now, now not having uh, Sammy Watkins on the team, Hollywood Brown, that's 200 targets left, to, left up for grabs. Like, that, that, doesn't that say that's a bigger issue happening in Baltimore? Well, I, I would say this. Baltimore is one of the, the, the Ravens are one of the, or, the, the, the organiz, one of the organizations that communicate with their players all the way around. Steve Bashotti, the owner, along with the, the consultant, so to speak, and Ozzie Newsom, who picked his last pick, was Lamar Jackson. So I would think that there are some sort of communication there. Maybe not the communication at the time that they were going to move on from Hollywood Brown and get a first-round pick, they probably didn't communicate with him as far as that goes. As far as his contract goes, he like they want to re-sign him. He he wants to re-sign there. He just wants to do it on his time I, when he feels comfortable in doing it. So I don't necessarily know that there's any sort of kind of like underlying riff with uh, uh, but, but Lamar key, you know, Jackson in the front office at the Baltimore Ravens. But key, you know we. I mean, look. I, I, th that little may bit, be little true. bit different yeah. than Green Bay. I, I I understand. I'm not saying they're the same. I said it reminds me of to a degree. Here, it, it may not be the contract side because I feel like that's actually working out in Lamar Jackson's favor. The more quarterbacks get paid, but when a guy goes publicly and says "WTF," right? When he reposts, quote tweets the team pick and says that, like that's. That's a big thing. There are so That's many. Really po thing. Hold on, guys. There are so many possibilities we can speculate on here, right? If we try to Whoa. infer what's going on. Number one, the key, if they are in communication, then this is just a front to let his boy know, hey, I really like you, right? <laughs> Number two, it doesn't seem to me like they're yes. in. I think that's unlikely. It doesn't seem to me like they communicated with him very well here. Number three, maybe the Hollywood Brown thing is simply because when they made that move, in the draft, they thought they really were getting Jamison Williams, right? Like, hard to say. And then they didn't wind up with him and like, we need, a we, we need to do something. I, I, I don't know. But, I, 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 well, sorry, I, I just confused the Eagles and the Ravens. <laughs> I think I just confused the Eagles. It's been a Ravens. long night for everybody. It's been a long night. There's so many different possibilities here, but it does seem to me that Lamar Jackson is Aaron Rodgers-like or at least Aaron Rodgers light right now. He's not, he hasn't signed his extension. We don't know what's going or his new contract. We don't know what's going on there. He's expressing public um, anger toward the organization, and they appear not to be communicating well with him. And by the way, they still haven't ever really gotten him a number one receiver. Well, I mean, they've drafted two ones since he's been there, right? With Hollywood yeah. Brown along with... Well, along with uh, Rashad Bateman, they also went out and got Sammy Watkins, which is a little bit older. I, I think that they need to get him an alpha dog. I don't know if Rashad Bateman's an alpha dog yet because he really didn't. He's in and out of the lineup. He was hurt in training camp. So we don't really know what he is as a pro. I know what he was in Minnesota, and he was a dog. So maybe they're looking at that and saying to themselves, we don't need a Hollywood Brown. Plus, we got to pay Hollywood Brown here in the next year or so. Why would we do that? Let's move him 
to Arizona. Arizona lost Kristen Kirk. He can now get back with Kyler Murray from college. Everything works in their favor because Arizona now gave up a one. They're going to eventually have to pay Hollywood Brown, put the onus on them. We'll find another speed demon later on in the draft somewhere to lift the coverage and do some of the same things that Hollywood Brown was able to do for us. Hollywood Brown dropped a lot of footballs since he was a Baltimore Raider. When you're yeah, negotiating but, uh, your contract with your with your franchise quarterback, shouldn't you be communicating this with 1,000 percent it feels like you should. Key, let me ask you about this. So if, if you're if you're Lamar Jackson today, are you sitting there thinking about your organization that we better go get DK Metcalf? We better go get somebody like that so we can continue to elevate because right now, even though Bateman is talented, he's not a number one wide receiver. I don't know, Jay, I don't know if he's a one or not because we haven't seen him. It, it would be easy to say DK Metcalf's a one because we've seen him. We know what that is. Now, are you? what are you giving up to get DK Metcalf? I would go get DK Metcalf, mm -hmm. but Seattle's not giving you DK Metcalf because they're going to be stuck without anything. Why would they do that? You know, it's like we're not going to give you what we want, yeah. and, and they're going to pay DK, DK in Seattle for sure. Yeah. Um, look. <laughs> and you know what's so Bateman. funny? Rashad Bateman. What? Yeah. I think they all got the same agent, too. I think really? Hollywood Brown, A.J. Brown, and D.K. Metcalf Stop. all. I think so. I think they all got the same agent. Yeah, and as I was saying, Bateman does a lot of things well, but not one thing that makes you go, oh, my God, there's a number one. But maybe, if, but, like, they never got him that surefire. That dude is a number one.